Hello and welcome to the second video in the INA 5 on the airplane tutorial. In the previous episode we flashed the INA 5 to the flight controller. Today it's time to continue with the setup. After flashing is done, let's select the correct serial port and let's hit the connect button. At this moment it's time to decide on which platform we are installing INA on. In our case, because this is the airplane, we have two options. Airplane with a tail and airplane without a tail. Because we have the flying wing, let's select the flying wing option. It will take a moment for the flight controller to save all the settings and reboot. The flying wing defaults were applied, let's continue with the setup. The next step is super important because we have to set up the board orientation and all the used sensors besides the GPS. First let's take a look at the top bar and let's see if all the sensors were detected correctly and they are blue. Blue is good because blue means that the sensor is correctly reporting the data. If anything is not blue or missing you have to go to the configuration tab. In any other case, you still should to verify all the sensors. In our case, we have correctly detected accelerometer and gyro and missing magnetometer. By the way, if you are setting INAV on the airplane and the INAV detects the magnetometer, disable it. It makes absolutely no sense to have the magnetometer enabled on the INAV wing setup. So if you have magnetometer detected, select it to none, it will work just fine and even better. Also, barometer is correctly detected, however, the pitot tube is missing. I'm using the digital MS4525 pitot meter, so I want to select it, set the I2C speed to 400 Hz, there is no need to go above that on the airplanes at all, and let's save and reboot. And now the airspeed sensor is correctly detected. Now let's check the flight controller orientation. To do it, go to the setup tab, take the model in your hand and tilt it backwards. If the model on the setup page is following your movement and also the nose of the model is going up, that means that you have correctly set up the orientation. If, however, you move the nose up but the nose of the model on the setup page is not following, you have to adjust the board orientation. Luckily, this is pretty simple and straightforward. All you have to do is to go to the config tab and type the new your degree section. Here the rule of a thumb is as follows. If you move the nose up, however the model is rising the right wing tip, then the correct orientation is 270. If you move the nose up while the model is rising the left wing, then the correct orientation is 90. If however you pitch up but the model is pitching down, then the correct orientation is 180. And that's all, there is no extra magic. If if it's still not working correctly, try one of those settings. 0, 90, 180 or 270. If you have not mounted the flight controller on a really strange angle, it will be usually enough. That's all for now. In the next episode, we will take care about the calibration and especially the accelerometer calibration. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!